Buckle up, folks. It's time for RC Pro-Am on the Nintendo. Well, so here we are, lap-based racing at its finest. This is RC Pro-Am on the Nintendo. Uh, as you can see, I am in control of the red uh, remote control truck, and I am continuing to work my way through two laps on this first stage of the game. Uh, you uh, have water hazards, so you got to watch out for those. And I came in third place. The objective, of course, is to come in in the top three. Uh, so if you do not, if you fail to finish in the top three, you will not advance to the next race. So here's race number two. Uh, as you can see, the track design is slightly different. Uh, oh, there's an oil slick. There's another hazard. And you've also got some upgrades. I just passed one. Didn't pick it up. Um, let's see if I can come back around. Now, in this one, you can see we're still doing two laps. Uh, I'm in first place. There was an I for Spell Nintendo. I uh, missed it. I uh, missed the upgrade again. But not to worry. I came in first place. Here is my trophy room. I have a third place and a first place. And... Here we are, three laps on race three. Same old hazards, water. That right there is a boost. I don't know exactly what it is, but it causes you to boost. Oh, there was a tire. That gives you better grip, better traction. And uh, I am in last place, which is why it says out. Up. Oh, not to worry, I'll hit the boost strips. I picked up the eye. Hopefully I can spell Nintendo. I do have missiles, as you can see, and I can blow my opponents away. Now I've managed to fight my way back into second place. Ah, now I'm back in first place. I missed the second one. There we go. I picked up an acceleration booster. Missed the tire boost or the tire upgrade. And managed to go from last place to first place. And uh, here is a list of the uh, upgrades I can get. As you can see, turbo acceleration. You can get better tires. Uh, you can also improve your top speed. So here we are on race four. This is again is another two lapper. Ah, there's the end I needed. Hit the power boost bar. Blast some opponents away. And work my way through. Up, oh, missed that one again. Uh, this is 1988. By the way, uh, this game came out two years after Super Sprint did on the Nintendo. And uh, oh, third place finish. Bummer. That's okay. I'm collecting a lot of nice trophies. And you can see that I'm also continuing to upgrade my vehicle stats. So, all right, three laps this time. Uh, anyway, back to some of the details of this game as you continue to watch me run through the fifth race in this game. 1988, Rare decided they were going to use radio-controlled cars to make a racing game. Racing games, as we know, are nothing new. There's Mario Kart. There is Cruisin' World, Cruisin' USA. There was Pole Position. Hell, even Excite Bike was a racing game, if you want to get down to it. Um, but Rare decided they were going to do a more combat-based racing game. Yes, it still requires that you do laps and that you still finish in a certain place in order to advance. But the advantage here is you can pick up bombs, and you can pick up missiles, and you can generally cause mayhem to your opponents. Ooh, higher top speed! And here we are on race six. This time we have to do four laps. Uh, the cool thing about this game, though, is not only do you get to blast your opponents away with missiles and bombs, but as you can see, I am working on spelling out the word Nintendo there at the bottom of the screen. Uh, if I manage to be successful in collecting all eight letters and spelling the word Nintendo, I will actually upgrade to a second, faster, radio-controlled car. And if I do it again, then I get the third and final car, which is even faster still. Unfortunately, when you make the transition from one car to the next, you do not retain the upgrades you picked because, well, that's just the way it is. So once you do advance and you do get a new car, you are starting over at zero and you must collect tire upgrades and acceleration upgrades and top speed upgrades all over again. This game was definitely a staple that I played. 
as a kid growing up. Uh, I remember playing this game for long stretches of time. We really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you do too. So enjoy, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.